JetBlue Airways, a major United States low-cost airline, was founded in August 1998 by David Neeleman. The airline commenced operations on February 11, 2000, with services to Buffalo and Fort Lauderdale. JetBlue differentiated itself from the competition with better onboard amenities and a new business class concept. JetBlue's innovative operational model helped it succeed at a time when the major players of the airline industry were crumbling. The airline was one of the few U.S. airlines that made a profit during the sharp downturn in airline travel following the September 11th attacks. JetBlue's success was built on low cost and high standards, which attracted and kept passengers. However, recent years have seen JetBlue facing significant challenges attributed to several factors. An operational meltdown. The biggest contributor to JetBlue's weak financial performance was an operational meltdown that occurred in April 2023. Nearly half of the airline's flights suffered cancellations or delays due to a combination of overly aggressive scheduling, bad weather, and FAA staffing constraints. This negatively impacted the company's quarterly pre-tax margin by about six percentage points. Capacity cuts to prevent a repeat of its April operational problems, JetBlue implemented massive schedule cuts for the rest of the year. This decision weighed heavily on JetBlue's profitability. Inefficient fleet, surging fuel prices have aggravated the poor cost profile of the carrier's E-190 fleet. Route cuts, JetBlue announced that it would cut some routes and service as it struggles to return to profitability. The airline is instead focusing on leisure routes, adding service throughout the Caribbean and to Paris. These challenges have led to JetBlue's current struggles. The airline's shares hit a nearly 12-year low after forecasting a wider-than-expected loss in the current quarter. JetBlue also announced that it would cut some routes and service as it struggles to return to profitability. Adding to the airline's woes, a federal judge blocked JetBlue's planned $3.8 billion acquisition of ultra-low-cost carrier Spirit Airlines. The ruling was a victory for the Biden administration in its efforts to prevent further concentration in the U.S. airline industry. As JetBlue grapples with these challenges, the airline future remains uncertain. Despite the turbulence, JetBlue continues to strive for success in the competitive airline industry.